Yeah, I'm giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Hashem, send double honors to our apostles and elders here. A great millstone, peace and blessings to the Lord's hopefully elect. So, as you may have heard, some more wickedness that goes down in the Middle East, dealing with the state of Israel, with them and uh, the 1948ers, and then the, the Palestinians, which are the Ishmaelites. So, it's been found out that them soldiers have been taking Palestinians off the street and just doing any and all manner of evil to them as torture and uh, what was highlighted was how they were actually they they they, uh, they were torturing this Palestinian and when they when they um, examined him they found out that he was greatly abused in his uh in his anus so what they've been doing what these 1948 has been doing was capturing Palestinians and then and then uh, butt raping them gang raping them uh, and I believe they're using instruments like sticks and stuff like that and it, it made such a big deal that they actually was debating on if they're allowed to do that or not these are the things that go on and and uh, here's what the brother had published uh jim s for the most high guy which is the elder uh we'll call you Quam. like he said he said uh this is anal grape is self-defense now and this is what they do this is what they say as it says here in the times of israel it says the, inv the investigation into the soldiers was launched after a detained terror suspect was brought from the base to a hospital with signs of serious abuse including to his anus he was arrested by the IDF in the Gaza Strip several weeks ago the right wing Honenu legal aid organization which is representing four of the reserve soldiers claimed on Monday that its clients acted in self defense in the incident wow these are what these devils do this is what they do as um, one one person said, I forgot exactly how he said it, but he said, the small hat will smite you and, and scream in agony, like, you know, stop hitting me type deal. This is, this is their attitude. And we know why, right? Because according to their belief system, anybody that isn't them can be treated however they want you can kill them abuse them do whatever you want because in their eyes it's not a sin in their book of the talmud the talmud also condones pedophilia it tells you that you can uh, molest and rape little boys and girls as young as two to three and three years old it even says that um it says it says, it says something along the lines where the little girl her virginity is going to keep coming back and the little boy is not a sin. So it promotes sodomy and molestation of little boys and girls. And they also believe that anybody who isn't a 1948er can be lied to, can be killed, can be spit. Don't, they, there, you know, there's no justice for them. And when these devils get called out, they play victim. This is what they do. So gang raping a Palestinian, gang raping them pulling them off the street and gang raping them that's all an act of self defense you see this is how these devils operate because they're spiritually and mentally weak people that in order for, and, and, and through their deception in order for them to succeed in their craft or in their wickedness whenever they whenever the light shines upon them whenever they get criticized they just scream hate and anything they do, oh, it's out of self-defense. Oh, we're just protecting ourselves. So the massacre, the apartheid that's being committed right now, they'll say, oh, it's out of self-defense. Right? So anally graping somebody is now out of self-defense. This is the, the, the wickedness that these people do. This is what they do. As you can see here, which I'm not going to play it, but because they're all speaking their language but it says it says here israeli lawmakers are debating if it's okay for the small hats to sodomize non-small hat prisoners this is where our tax dollars go 
And that is correct, by the way. If you're in America, if you're in USA, your tax dollars go to Israel first. And they're actually arguing back and forth to say, is this okay or not? This is what they do. <laughs> right? This is how they view anybody that isn't a small hat. And, and what you Israelites need to understand, what you people have to wake up to see is that this is proof that this devil never changed, never changed. They try to tell you that, oh, slavery happened because it was a different period, a different time. No, we're telling you it's the same person. It's the same devil. When he has free reign to do whatever it is he wish, this is what they do. Criminal acts and dehumanizing acts and violent acts against those who they deem unworthy. This is what they do. They, they steal land. They steal land and say um, that you're the invader. They invade you, steal your homes. Right. And say that you're trespassing. They drop bombs on your hospitals, drop bombs on your homes. Right. Missiles. And say that. And, and if you if you pick up arms to defend yourself, they call you a terrorist. So them, everything they're doing is all out of self-defense. When they're pushing the buttons down for the missiles and they're like, oh, we just have to do it. We're just trying to live. We're trying to protect ourselves. You all have to die. We're just protecting ourselves. This is what they do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's proof that it don't matter what time it is. If he has the ability to do these things, he's going to do it. That shows you it's the same devil. And the fact that it's happened to the Palestinians... The same thing can happen to your black ass if you was over there. So the devil never changed. He's still the same devil. Right? And let's go to this guy's channel. This here, this this damn devil. Okay? Calls himself a street apologist. This clown called Volcab Malone calls himself a street apologist. What a joke. The word apologist goes back to the Greek word apologia, which means to defend. And it means to defend the gospel primarily is defending the existence of the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, and his uh, resurrection, as many doubted. So you had to be a, a defender of that gospel. Well, guess who Vocab Malone will not be apologist for? The Lord. He claims he's a Christian. He calls himself a street apologist. But when it comes to the 1948ers, he has nothing to say. He condones all of this stuff in his silence he condones it okay because he said the same thing that when they uh because of that october incident he said that they have a right to do whatever they, they need to do so he doesn't condemn anything he doesn't condemn the apartheid he doesn't c condemn the damn near genocide he doesn't condemn right the the tunnels he won't investigate he won't investigate when there's tunnels found in in new jersey linking to what a, a kid's day center day center he won't investigate he turns the blind blind cheek but but when an israelite gets into a little scuffle at camp because somebody doesn't like what they hear oh he he puts a magnifies glass on that he has to to make it seem like oh we're we're violent we're we're a threat we need to be washed you know you got to watch the israelites they're just a ticking time bomb all it takes is the wrong uh, situation or whatever it is but you got these people over here actually doing this Right in the name of their God, which they don't even believe in the Most High, they call themselves Zionists. As one of those men said, he said that uh, the Zionists don't believe in the Most High. They don't believe in God, but they do believe God promised them Israel. <laughs> right, and then you have these people who call themselves Christian Zionists, which by default is an oxy, which, which is a contradiction, because the Zionists will tell you they don't believe in the Most High. But when it comes to, to be justified in destruction and dropping missiles and invading and stealing and killing people's land, then they say, oh, it's because the Most High wanted us to do it. You see? But, and, and, they, and they vehemently spit on the Messiah. They call him Messiah a, uh, they call him all kind of names. In fact, there's a video that just went out where they talked about the uh, Mary. Let me see if I can find it real quick. All right, so check this out, right? This is small hat Rabbi Yosef Mizrasi insults Virgin Mary and calls her a prostitute who cheated on her husband. And this is so-called America's greatest ally. It's not dreams of, of 
kinds of mechalalei Shabbat that had a dream or a revelation. We saw what happened with the revelation of Maria. Two thousand years of suffering came to the world. Christian Inquisition, Spain, Portugal, Holocaust, pogroms, from a dream of a prostitute who cheated on her husband. That's it. From that, two billion people today follow this idol named JC. Why? One dream. A lot of dreams. There's people that uh, live in illusion even when they're awake, not when they sleep. So you see he called Mary, which he said Maria, which that's where Maria comes from, Mary, a prostitute. And he just said people follow this dream, JC, which in short means Jesus Christ, which he's talking about the Messiah. Where is the, what, where, what does Vocab Malone have to say about that? Oh, he has nothing to say about that. Absolutely nothing. He's, his lips are sealed when it comes to these people and their beliefs. And here it is, we the Israelites, we believe in the Messiah. We believe in the Messiah. But his thing is, you know, one of his he asked, polite asked him, "What's what's your beef with the Israelites?" The first thing he said was that the Israelites we don't accept that the Most High, we don't accept that Yahweh Shai is the Most High, that they're one person, and that oh, that they, they say it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. So his 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 first thing that he said was that we don't acknowledge the whole Jesus is God uh, doctrine, which is not true. We don't believe that. We believe that there are two. You got the Most High, then you got the Son. We believe that there are two separate uh, entities, right? But guess what? We believe in the Messiah. So he has all this energy for us. But guess who's? What about these people who spit on the Messiah? Who actually persecute Christians over there? Christians have to uh, uh, worship in hiding over there in the state of Israel. They get spit on when they see the cross. They get attacked. They're treated as second class, if not third class citizens over there in the state of Israel. What does Vocab Malone have to say about that? He has nothing to say about that. Why? Because I believe, well, because of the scripture here, Sirach 13 and 15. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorteth according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. Right? A man will cleave to his like, just like... Um, it says all flesh are consorted according to its kind. You know, just like, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Cats get along with their family of cats, dog with the dogs, and the rats get along with their fellow rats. And that's why he, this devil here, has nothing to say about that. But he has everything for the great Muslim because he consorts with them because I believe he know I believe he is one. He said that his father is from Germany. And that's exactly where a lot of those small hats uh, spawned out of, right? And uh, I believe he, he, so maybe he thinks he's one or whatever the case is. But either way, it's proven that he won't speak when it comes against him. All this stuff going on in the world. But yet he's turning a blind eye and he's watching every single Israelite group. If we stumble at the tongue uh, or whatever it is, he's, he's right there to say something. But he has nothing to say. Showing you, he's just a big phony. He's not an, a true an apologist. He's he's paid by the wicked elite. We believe he's paid by the small hats to do what he's doing, right? You know, don't come to don't come to my camp because I tell you right now, I don't care how many men you got. You come to St. Louis, I'm going to tell you right in and there, the subject is going to be only about 1948 and the small hat. We're going to talk about 1948. I want to talk about the Talmud. We're going to talk about the Messiah. We're going to talk about the, the existence of Yahweh Shai and who doesn't believe in him. Judaism. We're going to talk about the whole thing. I don't care how many Israelites, other Jakes you got with you. I don't care what. I'm not changing the subject. We're going to talk about 1948. We're going to talk about the Talmud. We're going to talk about what's going on in the state of Israel right now. These Palestinians getting sodomized, held to no accountability. You know what I'm saying? We're going to pull up some quotes. We're going to read some of these things. We're going to do all of those things. And I'm not going to budge. We ain't we ain't going to change the subject. You call yourself an apologist, we're going to put it to the test. Right? And that's all we're going to talk about. I don't, I'm not going to budge. Because I've noticed when he went out there to, to the brothers in Cleveland, when the moment them brothers mentioned 1948, he was quick to change that subject. Quick. 
right? And them brothers defended the gospel just like they we always do. But I'm telling you, this is these are the things that I'm gonna bring up that we're gonna bring out. Right? You damn phony, you damn snake. Ezekiel 35. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Who is that? The Edomites. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, Mount Seir, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So guess what, you Edomites? Be prepared because the Heavenly Father has blood prepared for you. And understand this, what you're doing, what you do doing to earth will be done to you. Now, when we get in the kingdom, we're not going to sodomize or anything like that, but we are going to judge you accordingly. And I'm going to tell you right now on my plantation, I'm going to I'm going every at the end of every day. I'm going to gather the, the Amalekites and the Ishmaelites. And I'm going to call up an Ishmaelite. And I'm going to put the whip in his hand. And I'm going to tell him to go to town on you damn Amal on the Amalekite. And I better see blood. Because why? Because I'm going to have the rod in my hand. And if I'm not satisfied, he's going to get that fucking whooping. But I'm going to make sure that he's going to exact the Lord's vengeance on your ass but I'm like I said I'm gonna hand him the whip you see I'm an I'm a generous guy but after he serves because you're both gonna be serving hardcore bondage but in particular you Amalekites you're gonna get a special judgment every single day in particular okay especially on my on my plantation and I'm gonna let the Ishmaelites get some lick back but they're gonna do it and they're gonna and they better and, and man they better not hold back because like I said it's they ass right so I'm gonna force them to touch you Amalekites and this is how the Lord does. since you wanna since you wanna be a big bully on the planet earth and and anal great people and drop missiles and bombs in the name of self defense we're gonna do the same things to you and we're gonna do it all in self defense okay and it's going to be vengeance of the Lord. Call all Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Shalom.